Welcome back boys and girls to yet another edition of Malta Archery's Finest. Today we received a package after it spent the whole holiday at customs, like two weeks or so, from Uenbo. It's the first time I have a Uenbo in my hands. And actually Tom from the Netherlands asked me if I ever shot a Uenbo. I said no, because he wanted to order one, so he ordered this one and told you and they shall send it first to me that I can do a review and I will forward it then to Tom. Tom, it was a great idea. I like that because in this way I can test more bows for you without spending my money. You know, on the other side on Patreon we do a lot. We have a lot of really nice bows coming. So, patrons, you can really look forward. So, what do we get? Joking. Packaging material, but nice. So, we get a bow. Oh. Ooh, that's proper pack. Look at this, huh? Good. So, let me check if there's something else in it. Looks like back there is something. Let me check. I know. just wanted to complain that there is no bow sleeve but there it is nice in Bavarian colors and a nice pattern too when you like it it's fine when you don't like it it's there so unbox so we need to keep this because after the review I have to send this bow away so there you get another protection there's a string on it. The string. Finally the string. The string is out of... Oh, look at this. I totally like that. Look at this. You get two strings. That's awesome because sometimes it always can happen, you know, that you lose one, you break one. You have a spare string. That's really cool. Mark Tom from UN Bows. I like this a lot. Let's check quickly the whole string length is 52 inches the loops are very short with two and a half inches so just in case because there are other people want to know everything and i tend to tell you everything that i can tell you so what do we have here a bow obviously so <laughs> sorry it's double packed so, oh. Pain. And another one. So, directly out of the box. When you see this here, you can tell the shape and design is a little like the Emperor. And it is the Emperor from UN Bows Ulma. Ulma. So it's well packed. We will pack it and everything back, Tom, so don't you worry. And you get your two strings just in case. Uenbo from Emperor from Uenbo. Let's put this beside because it's in the way here. So, ooh, and it's the carbon fiber version. So, it looks very good. So, what do we have? First of all, we have a nice leather wrap handle, nice stitching. Done? Good. When you beat your wife next time, do it in another time. Shelf is very narrow, wrapped around with ray skin. Handle is quite small, but still okay. A little flex in the handle, goes back, and then you have extremely long bent sears. Ming design. You have small string bridges here. And let me tell you, the build quality is a very, very good. There's nothing edgy, nothing sharp. Everything is well made. Looks very good so far. What do we have here? Something in Chinese. And then it's a 45 pound at 28. And then most probably the date written on it. It's 7, 19, I don't know. Something written there. I will make maybe show you a close up. Really good. The sears are quite heavy. No. Not that they cause vibration then, but we will see. But as we are here, 
So, to make everything we have to do. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. And I said it's not rocket science. So we have from knock to knock 58 inches. And the max throw of this bow. So I tell you first of all, it's the Emperor bow from UN Bows. The bow length is 49 inches strong. The max draw is, or the safe draw is 32 inches. And you can have this bow from 20 to 55 pounds. And the brace height will be then 6.2 inches or 16 centimeters. So what you can have this bow in different variations. You can have it just with bare power glass on it. Yes, listen, bare power glass. Then this bow will be 280 US dollars. This version with fiberglass, mosquito go away, with fiberglass is $320 and you can have it with this ceramic foam in it. We know that already, a few Chinese companies build it with ceramic foam, then it will be $340. And you can have this one in carbon fiber, cut through as a takedown and then it's $380. I wish I could test this one, so Mark Tom, takedown version would be nice to test. Material-wise, carbon fiber, bamboo and wood, and I don't know which kind of wood, but you know. So, let's take one string. We know the shorter one is the top one, the longer one is the bottom one, usually. Let's see how easy this bow is to string in the step-through method. 45 pounds, quite something. And the CS have quite an angle, so... All madonna! But stringy with these knocks, it's quite easy. Strings are in the in the in the string bridges. Straight, straight carbon fiber. I tell you, look at this pretty bow. That's how a bow should look like. And now, of course, one of you can now please fast forward. Ooh, stiff. <laughs> really stiff. So this bow is stiff. Yeah. Have a little, it's not even vibration. A bit. You hear that? You hear? There's nothing. Almost nothing going on. Impressive. And the brace head should be a set 16 centimeters. We check it now quickly. It has 17 and a half, but maybe the string will stretch a little during the first few shots. So max draw is, safe draw is 32 inches. The handle is on the back a little wider than in the front. Very nice for the hand, so you really can hold this bow properly. Momento of truth. The string is nice made, so hmm, nice. Center serving looks good. Let's see. Now oh, here it starts, 28 is nice, 29, 30, 31, 32. Wow. Wow. Draw experience? Holy moly. Hmm. Smooth stacking. These are also 33 inches, let's see. And very lightweight. Yeah, maybe a little too lightweight. So there's no recommendation of arrow weight. That's why we will shoot some different arrow weights. This is a bamboo arrow, which is surely quite heavy. Too fletched. We knock a little higher that you don't scratch our fingers. Oh. You hear that? Ooh -hoo. Let me see, we have a carbon arrow, 32 inches. A little, a little hand job, but it might go away after you shoot a few arrows. Right now, it's you can feel it. You know what? You go over there and shoot properly over there. Don't you think? Hoo hoo! Last time I had a smart guy again, because usually, and as you know, when you watch one of my videos, when I shoot the bow, I even even if it's a horse bow, and even if it's a Turkish bow. I tend to do this, that you see if you can do your horseback style, 
and then I put the arrow on the left side and I shoot three finger. You know, only to show you. Yes, you can do that. And this guy that wrote to me, look, you need to put the arrow on the right side and shoot with thumb. As if I didn't know. I'm just saying. So, but three fingers feels awkward. Went through and through and through. So they are 320 grain, they're a little too lightweight. They are, I think, 340. Let's see what they do. Draw experience. Very nice. The stability, you feel it in the shot while you draw. Really nice. Accurate. Where you point the arrow goes. Center shot. Oh, yeah, these these shitty thin arrows. No, I, I didn't say that, but you know, my nice trusty carbon. A bit heavier, you feel it, but even these lightweight arrows, no problem. Bamboo. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now this is a bow. One arrow went through the hay bales and went back there, and I thought, oh, I need to find it, and then I saw a cat sitting there. Sniffing at my arrow, so I found my arrow directly. So 20 meters, 320 grain. Our range arrows. Oops, a little wobbly. 30 meters. Hmm. So that's sh the shelf is quite narrow. Yep, but you know, get used to every bow. These long, lightweight ones at 20. <laughs> a dream. A dream. 30. A little wobbly, but that's my release. Oh, the knock again. And you just start talking because I need to hold the knock. 20 meters again. Nice. Bamboo, 20. And you heard the two fledged arrow. Carbon 30. Oh, almost center shot. You point there, you draw a few shots, you get easily used to this bow. It's easy to use, of course, 45 pounds is nothing for a beginner. Hmm. I like so far what I see and what I feel. 28 inches first. And this is 32, 51.77, so I can call it 52 pounds at 32. So this is how the ball looks like. Nice bow, you see it? Maybe not completely in the center, but looks good. So you have still here a slight angle in it, which gives it a more performance. And then you see the string angle is roughly around 60 degrees, maybe a little more, maybe 65 degrees. But we know when the string angle here is 60 degrees is the best for the performance of a bow. If it has more, then you lose already efficiency. So. Design-wise, bomber. Let's check quickly some speeds. So it's 42 at 28, and it's a 320 grain arrow. 187, 190. So then we shoot 
the long light ones, I will measure them again, the, si uh, the weight, because I think they are 200, I forgot, but they are 32 inches, now we shoot at 51 pounds, 192, a knock, Ninety-four, hundred ninety-six, and a group again. Holy crap! This one is four hundred sixty grain, thirty-two inches, so it's fifty-one pounds. Ah, heavier, hundred seventy-six, and this one I don't know yet. Bamboo, most probably five hundred grain. 177. Mm -hmm. So 190, 200 foot per second with a weight and it doesn't feel like dry firing. So what to say about this bow? It's a very good looking bow. It's well made. I think the carbon fiber version gives you way more stability than or more stability than the glass version and the this, the ceramic foam would give you more lightweight sears, but overall, nice made. Yeah, here's a small gap between the ray skin and the leather wrap, but you know, 320 US dollars plus shipping, I guess. I don't know, but I think so. Well made, you have a different uh, wood variations blended into one. Nice made feels very very solid it's sturdy the wiggle test completely solid draw experience is really nice so 28 is easy 9 30 31 32 and then there's still no stacking so 32 it goes up constantly like this and after 32 you see the little more steeper up but still no stacking as you saw string angle is very well at 32 inches it's easy to string and unstring with this big uh, Openings here, this this Kyuan style or Ming Ming no not Kyu uh, Kyuan style, more like the Kyuan that you can pick up an area, you know, but you know this stuff. Nice more string bridge. The bow is really straight and sturdy. So this is wow, uh, you know, it's just really there's nothing you really have to force. It's a very good and hand shock even with uh, with these lightweight arrows. I will weigh them now in a second and then I tell you or I write it. Handshock is you feel a little with this light arrows but it's not annoying at all. When you hold the bow properly this one is most probably it's 460, 51 so it's roughly 9 grain or something. You still feel it a little so you have a little bit of handshock but you know some tell you the oscillating string cause vibration. Uh, when you build the bow properly, you a tiny bit, you know, but it's usually, you know, and picky and no vibration. Hand shock a little, with a heavy arrow a little less, obviously. I shot the bend. It's there, but it's not annoying. It's simply, you know, like when you shoot a manchu bow, you have this kick. It's more like this kick because you have your string bridges and then with these long sears, it's, you know, it, it behaves a little like a, a Qing, but it's still a Ming dynasty. It's very accurate. The handle is for me a little bit too small, but it's still fine. You can do all your, you know, whatever, however you hold your arrows, it's, it's everything is no problem with this bow. I showed you this way around, it's fine too, so you can do with this bow whatever you like. It's not too long, 59 inches I think, knock to knock. So even horseback archers might like this bow. It's very sturdy, it's very, very sturdy. The knocks are a little edgy, but this is the design of them, design choice. But it's not too pointy, so it's not hurting anything, anyone. Even only when you draw, this arrows are 29 inches, when you only draw 28, you start your career as a horse archer. And you only want to draw 28 inches, look. 
and kicks these arrows away as if there is no tomorrow. Impressive, Mark. Nice, very well done. Then you draw a little more, you draw 29 inches and kicks the arrow still away. You want to draw a little more? Draw 30, 31, 32. 30 inches, nice. Now we lose my knock again, of course, but you know. Ah, it's a knock, it's a knock. So from 28 inches onwards, a fun shooter, an accurate shooter, as you saw, even 30 meters it takes you a few shots, you get used to it. Hand choke is there a little, you get used to it, it's not annoying. No vibration, no wobbling, feels very safe and secure, no stacking at 32 inches. And it's a pretty bow, $320, okay, is, is not in the low price range, it's in the mid price range. But for this, it's a good bow when you get carbon fiber on it. I can't tell you how long they last because it's not the first one we have here. Well, lap regarding delamination or whatever, we will see. Leather wrap handle is nice made. Everything well done. I'll show you how close up of this one here. See, here, yeah, focus here. Focus here, my friend, focus here. See that? I can't read Chinese, so I can't tell you. But as you see, handle wrap, ray skin. Pretty bow here, you see the carbon fiber. Huh? Pretty. Yeah, you see the knock, the sear, and this big knock there. It's nice, you have here reinforcements. In the middle you have this dark wood, which runs out here and runs out here. Uh -huh. It's very nice. On the side you have then the sears, they have a nice spine to it here. So it's really nice, you know, like the Turkish bow's head. Here you have it goes wide. It's really well made. Fully worth it the price. Looks good, shoots good, is accurate instantly. I shot groups with it. Does not happen always. Impressive bow, Tom. I think you would like this bow. I am only not sure if you overdid it with 45 pounds, but now already it feels nicer to draw. The first draw was a little stiff. So this bow needs a few shots until he knows what he has to do. And then it's fine, but it feels safe. So even here when you draw, you can't move the bow. There is no nothing moving. It's, it's really sturdy, really awesome, impressive. So Mark Tong from UN Bows, very well made. Thank you for sending it to me. Thank you, Tom, that you let your bow first send to me that I can test it. I will pack it up and send it then to you. Well done, everyone. And I think, Tom, I see you in the Netherlands in a few weeks when I'm there for the Thumb Release Workshop. I think there are a few lines left if you want to book in Maastricht. We will be there. Nice bow. I'm really happy with it and I'm impressed. Very good, well done. So, I need to put my knock back. Thank you very much for watching guys. Uh, a lot of bows are coming soon, so stay tuned. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you share my video. Make sure that you like this video. Give me a comment in the comment section down there. A useful comment, constructive criticism is always more than welcome. And for the rest, we go from there. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.